Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to Behind the Velvet Rope. If you're a new listener, I'll just tell you, it's about education, how to make your club experience better when you go to a gentleman's club. Now, this one's more for managers and club people as far as ownership. It's promotions. It's a big thing. And if you're doing your promotions, a couple things you got to keep in mind. Is the promotion good for the club or is it good for the girls? Because the two are not mutually exclusive, but often are. Like, if you're doing a club that you're going to get bar sales out of this promotion, that's what you're going to do. Now, if you're getting your bar sales, that's great. That's good for the bar. Doesn't necessarily help your entertainers make money. Some of those promotions that are like that, they can still be fun. They do everything from jello wrestling to oil wrestling to mud wrestling, which is dirty, clean fun, but it is fun. The cleanup is a nightmare when you do that. Now, other promotions you can do are amateur contests, and that's a good thing to drive people in. It's not going to help your girls necessarily. It's really going to take money away from your professionals. But the amateur contest, if you can get four or five good amateurs in there and they bring a crowd, that's going to help your bar sales and they're going to have fun on stage. And you might even get an entertainer out of it. So amateur contests do work. They don't work in every market. Wet t-shirt contest, kind of dumb in a strip club because you know, you're already going topless. That's one. But the crowd kind of likes it. Really, you got to throw a twist on it if you're going to do a wet t-shirt contest. There's got to be something you got to have the guys bidding on who gets to spray down the girl in the pool, make her wet, the T-shirt wet, not her, the T-shirt. But make her wet, the T-shirt, and they'll give that money to the girl. That's the way it works. That way she gets something out of it. And the wet T-shirt contest, you can stretch that out throughout the night. And the cleanup's not near as bad as, say, mud wrestling or jello wrestling. And you less of a risk of your girls getting hurt. I've seen girls hurt in jello and oil wrestling because... There's never enough padding beneath that as they slam into each other. And it's not staged. Unlike professional wrestling, mud wrestling is real. They will come after each other because they have pent-up issues. Now, some of the other events you can do, if you're a fully nude club, you can do different things like they have um, splash back from the 80s. They have beaver shaping contest at some of these clubs. All you need is a big razor and an imagination, and you know what they're doing. They also have popsicle suck-offs, banana eating contest, anything vaguely sexual, but not graphic. you got to know what your local ordinances are as far as what you can do on a stage. And that's you know one of the better promotions you can do. You can come up, be creative. Come up with your own promotion as well. I mean, the original, the tried and trues of the oil wrestling and jello wrestling and mud wrestling. Again, that's they've been doing that since the 80s. Come up with something new if you can. If it works, great. If it doesn't, don't do it again. But figure out what your goal with the promotion is. Is it driving bar sales or crowd to the stage? What is your goal for it? And bar sales are the bottom line for any bar because that keeps the lights on. That pays the power bill and pays your staff. So always a good thing when you can do that. And you can do other promotions involving your liquor companies and your beer companies. And that's where you're coming in. They're giving away free T-shirts or whatever. And they tend to do that more in nightclubs than gentlemen's clubs. But you can get some things done for special events. And speaking of special events, pay-per-view. If you're streaming the big fight, boxing, MMA, or whatever, that's not going to help your girls, but that is going to help your bar sales as long as you don't have to jack your cover charge up to have the streaming and pay-per-view event. And these companies charge bars more than they charge an individual residence. If you're home on Maple Street, you can get it 50 bucks. If you're in a bar, they're going to charge you $1,000 for the same event. And you hope it is a good one and it lasts long, not a Tyson three-minute knockout. And, hey, event's over. So you can do events like that. You can do Super Bowl parties as a great promo. I know football season's a ways away, but come up with a giveaway. Come up with a gimmick and figure out a way to run your rotation, even if you have to run your rotation during commercials of the, the game. The commercials aren't that good anyway. Put your girls on stage for the four-minute commercial block and then pull them off, turn the mic volume back up for the game and let you know the teams root. Give away drink specials when the team that you, the home team, whoever the bar is rooting for, when they get a touchdown, that's shots for everybody in the house or a discount on beer, or jello wrestling shots. Don't drink those. They've been naked in there. Don't drink the jello wrestling shots. But they do that in bars. So, you know, hey. But those are some of the promotions we, we can talk about. And if you have any ideas or any questions, feel free to comment and like, subscribe, of course. If you've seen the weirdest promotion you've ever seen, I mean, I've seen everything from frozen wet t-shirt contest to the hand job contest. And what that is, is you go out and, hey, you can try this at home. Buy a plunger, paint it pink, stick it on the table, and 
up and down you go. You get the gesture. First person to get past the pink paint to the wood wins. Whoa. Okay. That's so a, you have, to, but that's almost bad because it would be such a firm grip. It's a grip because it wouldn't be lube. There's so sandpaper involved, which oh. is why you use the plunger instead of a member of the audience, which also would be illegal. Right. Well, that's how I normally get, you know, jerked you know, off. I like the sandpaper type. See, I, and I gauge any promotion. You kind of want it to be just on edge enough to give your manager a heart attack at least twice during the event where he's like, oh, God, what are we doing? But not quite over the edge where you're going to get raided by the local PD coming in going, hey, that's illegal. That's a hard prop. You can't do it. Yeah. Well, what do you think about them creating uh, like a VIP room? Off to the side, having like it where it's behind the belt rope almost. They actually have clubs like that in larger markets where they have a VIP. Where I mean, I've seen everything from electroshock on nipples, but to watch that show, you have to be a VIP and go upstairs. They even have a separate sound system and DJ booth, and they do some more creative S and M ish type things. Yeah. So I mean, a smaller club like the one I'm currently in, we're not going to put you in a separate room. If we're going to do something, everybody's going to get to see it. Right. Yeah, and um, what was another one? Happy hour. I think you address that. Happy like, hour in between the things is, that work with. It's not club. necessarily a promotion, but all clubs do happy hour, including stri- gentlemen's clubs, strip clubs. Now you can do drink specials as part of a prom- promotion. I mean, we do a um, tacos and tequila night on Tuesdays. Technically, titties, tacos, and tequila. Oh, Three okay. of my favorite yeah. things. But we'll do that on a Tuesday from time to time. Or if you have a holiday, like we just had St. Patrick's Day. Mm-hmm. Every bar, gentlemen's club included, has some form of Jameson and or green beer on special. Now, they'll probably have an April Fool's special, you know, where you come in and go, hey, what's the special? There isn't one. Oh. <laughs> that April Fool's uh, one? They walk in, but it's all guys. Yeah, it's all guys. <laughs> They're all guys on the table. Did we walk into the wrong thing? Yeah. Like, hey, April Fool's guys. Oh, but that, that reminds me. Actually, yeah. some clubs, some gentlemen's clubs, please, for the love of all the totally, do not confuse your crowd. Every now and then, I think one night a week or maybe once a month, they should bring in male strippers and you know see if they can tap into that market. It never works, and all it does is confuse the hardcore regulars right. that walk in and they're like, "Hey, what's Magic Mike doing on the stage?" So you, and then they won't come back for three weeks because they're afraid they're going to get somebody doing a helicopter dance in their face. So yeah, and you know, I guess you would kind of wonder about the people that stayed for that. Yeah. Oh, no, I just like the, the drinks. Not, and like, hmm. Yeah, not all promotions are a good idea. I mean, that's just the way that is. But if you try it, take a flyer on it, see if it works. I've seen co-ed night where clubs did male strippers for an hour, female strippers for an hour. All that does is attract the swingers, but, you know, hey. Well, and then the timing on that. Like, what hour are the girls going on? Yep. Wait a minute. And then if you catch the back end yeah, of you, the guy, you're like, man, we came a little bit too early. Yeah, you're, yeah. yeah that's weird. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, you, you don't want to confuse your crowd with your promotion. You do want to put some thought into when and who you, you got to know your audience and know who you're targeting. And like I say, if you know your audience, you know, okay, most of our bar likes Corona and Budweiser. Those are promotions you're going to want to lean on. If you have a new type of beer you're trying to promote, yeah, do that on a night, but. You know, that's the way to get the alcohol moving as far as new products. Yeah, do y'all have a website? Do y'all do any of the online promotion? All, all clubs do websites, and that's where you can find out some different promotions where you can, you know, say the secret password to the bartender and get happy hour prices all night or stuff like that. It just varies club to club. Check their website. One last thing promotionally to talk about. Every club falls for it. Don't do radio remotes. And I know I worked radio for 15 years. Trust me on this. They're not going to drive any crowd to you. That's why they always suggest, hey, we'll do your remote on a Friday night, and you got a Friday night crowd. That's not showing. If a radio station really wants to show you how they drive a crowd, they do it on a Monday or a Tuesday night, and that will get you some people in there. But generally, it's not worth the effort, and five times out of six, you're going to have your live DJ in the building doing all the talking, all the promoting for the radio station guys because their on-air guys just aren't comfortable in that environment. So... That's it. That's Behind the Velvet Rope. Please like and subscribe. And, of course, any questions, comments, let us know in the comments. That'll help. I'm Kevin. It's Behind the Velvet Rope. Class dismissed.